VCA stands for Voltage Controlled Amplifier. They were first used in high-end hardware mixing consoles. The software equivalent of VCAs was first introduced in Sequoia 12. They were later added to Samplitude Pro X2 when it was released in 2013. A VCA fader functions differently from a normal fader. No audio passes through a VCA fader channel. It's simply a control fader that adjusts the levels of tracks assigned to it. It's possible to assign any track to a VCA fader group. The VCA fader controls the relative volume levels of all the tracks within that group. The VCA master also lets you create solo and mute groups along with volume automation. This tutorial shows you how to use VCA faders in Samplitude Pro X3. The music you've been hearing is something I wrote specifically to demonstrate VCA faders. Regarding the drum kit, the kick, hats, toms, overheads and percussion are rooted to the drum bus. The snare top and snare bottom are rooted to a snare bus, which in turn is rooted to the drum bus. Notice there is an aux send activated on the snare bus, sending to an EFX reverb bus. Plus, I'm sending the overhead to the same reverb bus. Also note, the global solo mode is set to solo safe, which is necessary in order to hear the reverb. The drum bus gives me overall control of the drum kit level, plus the ability to add processing to the complete kit. I'm going to solo the drum bus and begin playback. As I lower the volume using the bus fader, the overall kit reduces in volume. However, there is a noticeable problem. The bus fader reduces the level of the drum kit, but not the reverb. If I bring down the fader completely, the reverb continues unaffected. This is a common problem when dealing with reverbs on a bus, particularly if you're using post-fade sends. It's also a problem which can be solved by using VCA faders. So, here's how you assign the drum tracks to a VCA fader group. I'm selecting the kick drum by clicking on the number header above the fader. Next, I'm holding down shift and selecting the percussion track by clicking on the number header above the fader. This selects all mixer channels in between. I'm not adding the snare and drum bus to the VCA group as I want them to remain independent. To add the drum tracks to the VCA fader group, right click on any of the selected faders where it says VCA. Choose Assign to New VCA Group. A new VCA channel has been created at the far right. I'm renaming it to Drum VCA. Notice all the drum tracks have VCA highlighted to indicate they are VCA enabled. For this tutorial I'm going to drag the VCA fader by grabbing the number bar at the top and putting it next to the drum bus. Now if I enable solo on the VCA strip it will solo all the drum tracks. It will also solo the snare and drum bus even though they are not part of the VCA group. This is necessary because the drums are routed through these buses. Likewise, enabling mute will mute the VCA group. In this case, muting the buses isn't necessary. Notice as I pull down the VCA fader, the wet-dry ratio of the reverb is scaled accordingly. If I pull the VCA fader down completely, the reverb is now silent, unlike when using the drum bus. A unique feature of these Samplitude VCAs is the use of ghost fader caps. As you pull the VCA fader down, the solid caps remain in the original position, but a secondary ghost fader cap appears.
These ghost fader caps display the current levels relative to the VCA master fader. However, you can still adjust the individual levels of the solid fader and the ghost version of that fader will adjust accordingly. You can also automate the VCA master fader. I'm going to write some volume changes using my controller, enabling fader touch mode and starting playback. Switch back to read. Check that. Notice the ghost faders. I showed you how to assign tracks to a VCA group. When this is done, a new VCA fader channel is added to the mixer, but you can turn any existing channel into a VCA master as well. I've added an empty track next to these synths. I want to control all of these synth tracks with a VCA fader. So I'm right clicking on the VCA label on this new track and I'm choosing fader is VCA master. I'm naming it synth VCA. Now I'm left clicking on the header of track 13 then holding down shift and left clicking on track header 18. Like before, I'm right clicking on any of the VCA labels of these selected tracks. From the list, I'm choosing synth VCA. Now I can bring up or down the level of all these synths with one VCA fader. while still being able to adjust the internal balance of all these six VSTIs. So that brings this tutorial to a close. Until the next time, all the best.